Good morning. It is time for your health check. You know, 34 million people in this country have diabetes. This is according to the CDC, and now the government wants anyone who is overweight or obese to get regularly screened for diabetes starting at age 35. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force updated its recommendations to reflect that lower age. They used to want screening to start at age 40, and the screening is just done with a blood test. Doctors say they see most new cases of type 2 diabetes starting at age 35, which is why they want people to start getting screened now around that time. Screening early makes sense. Uh, diabetes is on the rise. Obesity is on the rise. We're seeing diabetes is in much greater incidence in our youth. So it's extremely important to diagnose early so that we can improve these health outcomes and prevent people from having the complications from diabetes. Yeah, and left untreated, some of those complications can really lead to serious health problems. That includes blindness, kidney and nerve damage, even erectile dysfunction. And since we're on the topic of diabetes, Parkland is ramping up programs to combat diabetes in Dallas County. They're doing weekly diabetes education classes at Bonton Farms in South Dallas. A 2019 report identified the top six at risk zip codes in our area, meaning they have the greatest health disparities and they are listed on your screen 75210 75211 75215 75216 217 and 75241 poverty food deserts and lack of access to health care go hand in hand with higher rates of diabetes hypertension and heart disease and because i don't want to leave you all hanging here just with a problem and no solution. Here are 10 things you can commit to today to take care of your heart health. This is from the American Heart Association based on a new nutrition report. Balance your food and calorie intake with physical activity to maintain a healthy weight. That means burn more than you eat. Choose a variety of fruits and vegetables and get a full range of nutrients from food rather than supplements. Choose whole grains and other foods made up of mostly whole grains. Include healthy sources of lean or high fiber protein. So that's nuts, fish, low fat or non fat dairy, lean cuts of meat and limit. Please limit your red and processed meats. Use liquid plant oil. So that's olive oil, flour oil that can be for cooking. Uh, choose minimally processed foods instead of that ultra processed stuff as much as possible. Also minimize your intake of food with added sugar, also drinks with added sugar. We talked about that in our September Fitter Together Challenge. Choose to uh, or maybe cook foods with little or no salt, so minimize that salt. Limit alcohol, you know that, and apply this guidance no matter where your food is prepared or consumed. That means at home, at a restaurant, on vacation. This is not a diet plan. This is a lifestyle, okay?